Check this out, fellas. Check game on this one. I said, let me go ahead and pull over and uh, shoot some insight, shoot some of this game, man. You know what I'm saying? Break down what's real to these young fellas, man, and to the fellas in general. You know, you ladies can take some from this just as well. But, you know, we gearing it up for the young men. Being honest is so rare these days. It's actually hated upon. Like, it's really hated upon. And the reason why I say it's hated upon is that so many people out here follow the trend of one another. They follow the trend of society. Whatever they see that's leading the way, where I don't give a fuck if it's some jeans all the way down to a slang, all the way down to um, um, actually fitting into society's program so you won't be ostracized and exiled and marginalized and being seen as a person that should be canceled and shit of that nature, like, just because you're honest, just because you're real. And real is not appreciated no more, fellas. And the reason why real is not appreciated no more, fellas, because it's not marketable. It's no money behind being honest. It's nothing exciting and it's nothing that can confuse the brain and send off an illusion sound waves through, through humanity, you know. Being honest doesn't do that. Being fake does it a whole lot. I mean, hey, bro, being fake can take you to the moon. That's why you're here to selling your soul and this and that. Motherfuckers do all this. But before we get off into it, man, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It's very important for you to do that. Go to my Patreon. Check out that Patreon. Get some of that raw and uncut material you cannot get on YouTube. I advise you to. Video for education purposes only. Fair use on. We lock this door for a second until we get done. Go to the description below my bow section. You'll know how to get at me. Hey, everything's there. Ain't no ain't no way, ain't no excuse on how you can't get at me. Is everything there, right? I'll let me. And the re and, and you know what? I'm gonna talk to you young fellas. You know, you know, talk to the ladies just as well. We'll do a little something here. A little mix up, you dig? I'm gonna talk to you young fellas. The reason why. Things doesn't progress the way you want it to progress when you're so up and honest and upfront with the woman. It's because she can't elude you. And that's why you can't, you know, the reason why you can't, uh, I mean, the reason why you, I mean, the reason why you've been upfront and honest and telling her what's real and she doesn't, you know, accept it the way you would think she accepted because she can't elude you. You know, she can't, um, control the situation. You don't fit in like the rest of the simps fit in, which means she could dangle her pussy in front of you like a carrot to a rabbit or whatever, <laughs> jump all across the place and play games with you. You're not that kind. You're not that type of dude that's going to fall for that shit. Yeah, that's, that's not, you're not no sucker for that. You, you're not no bitch. And being honest, letting her know what it is, what you're trying to do and standing on your shit and falling back until she get back at you with what you're trying to do. Well, whatever you're trying to do, you know, you want to go have a drink, walk in the park, you know, you're not, you're basically not following what she want to do. And you're falling back and you're going on with your life and you're looking at it like, damn, man. I listen to KC. I listen to this person, that person, you know, they say, keep it real. I was open. I was, I kept it real. The bitch ain't get back at me. Bitch ain't fucking with me. She ain't hit me up. She ain't, you know, I'm like, get back at me. You would think the bitch would be like, okay, fool, I'm going to fuck, but I'm going to get back at it. Fellas, it's not going to go like that. In most cases, it won't. She won't just jump back and get back with you because she got so many guys that she can play with after you or during the process of meeting you. You know, she got so many guys she can lead on and play with in that fashion. You're not the one she can do, but you're one out of... Ain't no telling 50, 60 guys or, or more. So she can afford to throw you off. She can afford to get rid of you because you're not fitting her program. You're being honest. You're being real. It's hated upon. She cannot accept that shit. She can't accept you telling her, hey, look, you know, you got things to do. And, and, and for an example, right? 
This is for an example. I just met this chick two days ago at the grocery store, the Price Chopper. If you're from Kansas City, you know about Price Chopper Grocery Store. You know, they got a lot of establishments throughout Kansas City area. But the one on um, North Oak and Vivian up north. And if you're from Kansas City, you know exactly what I'm talking about. North Oak and Vivian, the one, it's a Constantino's Price Chopper. And uh, I'm, you know, walking, grabbing certain things, you know, little certain items. I ain't even got a basket. So I only got, great get about four or five items, so I didn't really need too much of that. The chick, you know, white chick, you know, backed into me, that big ass. Man, that motherfucking ass was fat. I said, damn. But she was backing up with her basket, and I peeped her. She didn't peep me peeping her out the side of her eye. I mean, out the side. I peeped her. She didn't see me peeping her when she was looking out the side of her eye. That's what I meant to say. She looked out the side of her eye, but I'm peeping her, right? And she backed up. She backed right into me to where her ass got up on my on my waistline, dick area and all that. I said, ooh. So you going to put that, all that on me like that? I said, you know what I do with that? She said, oh, I'm sorry. She turned around and said, oh, no, you all right. I, this is what, that's what I like. I said, now what your mom? I said, well, look at you. Now what your husband going to think about all this? She said, um, I'm kind of, you know, I've been divorced for the last almost two years or something. I'll take my number, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to go out and grab a drink, and we're going to, you know, get to talking about all that back there. You know, as I bite on your neck, and you know what I do. I'm going to suck on your neck. I'm doing all that. She's like, ah, she said, I'm letting her know what it's going to be. Took my number, you know, boom. I, you know, part ways I go ring up my shit, lead the motherfucker, you know. I'm up in front. I'm honest. I'm letting her, this is what it is. You know, she was G with it right there. But then, you know, we leave out or whatever we go. Boom. I'm gone. I hit the highway. Now I'm ready to go back towards my house. Because I'm up this way uh, taking care of some shit. So I'm leaving, you know, ready to go back towards the house. And uh, she ended up texting me. Hey, is this the right number? Hey, how you doing? You know, say my name and everything. Is this the right number? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, you know, I ended up pulling in front of the house. Wait till I got in front of the house. Park. Text her. Yeah, yeah, what's going on? Yeah, it's the right number. I'm locking you in now. Hey, look, check this out. What you got going on later? Because I want to, uh, I'm trying to get out and go have that drink later. You know, what you got going on, to, um, you know, a little later on in the day, about a couple more hours. I want to get out and have this drink. She said, oh, well, I got a 19-year-old son. It, she said, I got a 19-year-old son and uh, um, uh, his car, something wrong with his car to where she got to go pick him up and She's going to make dinner for her and her son and her um, brother and his wife, if they kids, whatever. They probably be coming over. And, you know, and she's running behind a little late. That's why she was in the store grabbing little things. And boom. And, you know, and I said, oh, okay, cool. And she said, so it won't be late. If I don't think it would be today. I said, all right, cool. You got my number. Reach out and holler at me, man. Let me know when you're ready to go grab that drink. She hit me back 20 minutes later. You know, she thinking, I already know she's pondering on it, thinking, oh, wow, he's not going to be the one to talk to me. He's not glorified by my fat ass and my pussy and my looks and all this shit. He's not going to try to jump down on it. Well, like, what the fuck? And then she said, oh, so we can't have a conversation at least until I, um, um, I can see when my schedule's open. And we, I said, no, nah, baby, I'd, I'd rather do the thing in person, you know. I want to look you in your eyes and let you know what's going on and how I'm going to take them clothes off and do everything, this and that. She said, Oh, also, is that what you're really looking for? Get the fuck out of here. You got to go. You know what I'm saying? And she said it in the text me back like, oh, <laughs> okay, um, you know, you're bold with it. Is that what you're really looking for? Honest. She hated that. She hated that I was honest and I was upfront with it. She, she would gladly accept and probably be proud and ecstatic. If I was one of these simps, would have been telling, you know, baby, look, check this out. I want to get us a candlelight dinner. I want to do this and that. You don't got a man. You're divorced. I want to be your man. I want to do, you know, lying just so he can get some ass. Or he could be the simp that actually want to do these things. You know what I'm saying? That right there, hell, she'd have been with it 100%. But by me being honest and letting her know what it is and not wasting my time, not allowing her to fucking elude and play with me. Hell, she hate it, brother. She don't like the shit, you know. And and that's what you you can you can deal with that. And that's the world we're in. We're dealing with this kind of society, fellas, to where if you're honest, you up front, a lot of motherfuckers are not gonna accept it. Oh, you're gonna have some that will. That's why it's a numbers game. You gotta keep on pushing and getting on more women and doing your thing that way. You will definitely have some that will. Trust me, they'll love that shit. But a lot of motherfuckers is not with it, you know. And for the women, you know. 
a lot of men. You know, they, they, I mean, like I said, I, like I said, it's geared up. I don't like to, you know, go against God codes, but it's basically geared up for the men and shit, man. But, uh, you know, you women, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest with you, man. You know, fuck that shit, man. Y'all got to, you know, I'm, I'm hollering at the fellas and shit. They doing consultations and shit. You women got to get with me and do some consultation. Like this shit, share it and subscribe. Show me you down with this shit, then I can give y'all some game on what it's supposed to be. Other than that. I ain't, I, as I said I was going to do it, I ain't giving, y'all ain't, y'all ain't got shit coming. But the fellas, being up front and honest, just being that person that, that's just straight up candid, you know, you straight direct with what you want to do and how you going to handle things. And it's not necessarily saying you scaring them off because that don't scare them off. You know what I'm saying? They angrily run off, you know, like, ugh, fuck this motherfucker. I like him. He's fine. He's handsome. You know, hell, I want to give him some pussy. But not just that fine. I'm sending him through a few little hoops and hurdles and let him jump rope and go through some bullshit before I give him, yeah, I ain't with it. So that right there can be hated upon, fellas. And this is the society we're dealing with. So you got to accept it for what it is and push the bitch out when you see that she ain't trying to move on or dance to your beat or move the way you want things, hire, you know, the way you want her to move. Push her ass to the side and move to the next one. Trust me. Keep on moving over and over and over to the different ones, and you'll get what you want. That's real talk. But you're going to go through a whole lot of, you know, motherfuckers is, you know, following up with the text, but then they're not fucking with you no more. They're not hitting you up no more they're not, because they can't get you how they want you. They can't, they can't mold you and shape you into being their play toy. You get what I'm saying? That's real game. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe.